for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, and today I got for you guys the house rules, some tips, some rewards. Before we get into the video, boys, do a quick little intro. So, just want to thank you guys for all the watch, all you guys who are still watching at this point of the year, because I understand it is slow. A lot of people are off Madden already. I can just see it by. I still appreciate every one of you guys, even the hundred that's been viewing. I appreciate everything and everyone that's still coming here to come watch. So that is why I still post. Thank you guys for coming out. If you guys are still around, if you're new, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think of these house rules. I'm kind of happy with these rewards. I'll get into that in the video in the video, obviously. And um, drop a like, please. Let's get to 50 likes. And make sure to drop a sub if you're new. And if you're enjoying the content, you don't want to miss out. Madden 20 is when you're going to come back. So just sub, sub now. Be ready for Madden 20. Let's get into this video. So first thing, let's go into these house rules. I'm pretty sure I got a little glimpse of the reward. And based on what I saw, I kind of like it. If I read right, obviously. So, house rules is this time we're exchanging head to head. All drives are now first and 20. We're changing up head to head. I'm sorry, I can't see. There's like a light in the way and it's covering my screen. You also only have three attempts at a first down, but don't be too hasty. Defensive touchdowns are worth 15 points. So, you start off at first and 20 and you only have three down, first attempts at a down. So, people are going to be playing the sticks, people are going to be playing back. So, my personal tips for this week defensive touchdowns are worth 15 points and it's first and 20. You have two ways to go about this. People probably won't be playing the run. So if you have a good run play and a good team, you probably could run a good amount. You're probably going to be having defenses very far back, which is going to be easy, easy little running lanes. And if they're good at the run, then break out the pass. But first and 20 means that if you're going to pass, you're probably going to want to pass down at least mid range because people are probably going to be playing far back. So you can obviously, you can probably kill them in the flats all day. So I'd probably start the game out if you're going to be passing. I'd start out by starting to attack the flats and then slowly working your way up. And then when they start playing the flats, you work your way up and then they play the middle. And then you work your way deep. But if not, the run game looks like it could work. But again, it's variable depending on who you're playing. Because some people obviously murder the run. And other people can't stop the run at all. And other people are scheme players, right? So if they're playing deep, their run's going to be killed. They're not a player that can adjust. So it all kind of comes down to who you're playing. And now defensive touchdowns are worth 15. So this is a week where I probably... You got to be at the top of your game with the... You got to be at the top of your user game this week. Now, one thing to do is if you have some kind of really good blitz, blitzing could work because... You're forcing them to make quick reads, could force them into picks, could force them into sacks, could force them into fumbles. This could be the week of the blitz. If you play too conservative this week, you might get you might get killed. But conservative might work decently because it's first and 20, but conservative does not get you those points. And obviously, on offense, you have to be, you have to be, you have to be, you can't be too risky. You probably have to be a little conservative too when it comes to defensive touchdowns. You know, if you're gonna don't throw anything in the flats, that's kind of covered. If it's if it's kind of covered, get rid of it because that a flat a flats interception. But the guys are on the slant and there's a cornerback here. He jumps it. That's a pick six. Unless the Madden screen, you know, the screen flips and screws you up. But I would not take the chance with that. Now, as per usual, six wins, 40,000 coins, 20 trophies. That is awesome. Now, it's eight total wins, which is actually better because it's not 10. The 10 wins kind of irritated me because it's just a lot of games to play. Now, it's not wins in a row. So remember, the quit method always works in this case. So what you could do is you go into a game. It feels like it's going to be a close head-to-head -head nail biter down to the end. It's going to take 30 minutes to quit the game. No point to bother. I don't usually advocate for quitting, but in this case, I will advocate for quitting because this isn't competitive. If this was more competitive and you need six straight, I'd be preaching differently, but this is just about getting eight total wins. Eight wins. If You can, you can probably make people rage quit with defensive touchdowns. So, you know, you, you just score right away. You stop them. The kid's probably quitting. So you could probably finish this at the fastest within an hour and a half, maybe a little less. But if you play all the games out, this could take upwards of four hours. So I highly recommend the quit method as in they score on you right away, just quit. You score on them right away, score on them again, they quit. Everyone's going to be quitting. There's going to be a week. This, this, these events are quitting now because there's eight total, not eight in a row. But it's, it's definitely better than 10 because 10 was kind of a drag. Now let's get into these rewards. Oh, also, again, if you get the six wins, you get the 40k and the 20 trophies. That's awesome. Trophies can always be used for John Madden and always be used for other pieces of collections, preferably John Madden. And 40,000 trophies, you can't go wrong with that. So now, the rewards. The rewards look like it's a 1 through 32 draft pick, which means you get a random player from the draft. Now, I'm going to go to sets and see if there's a set for this so I can show you guys preferably how I would do this. So look, the first pick, second pick, the third pick, the fourth pick. So you can get any one of these picks. You wouldn't throw them into here. I'm just showing you guys so I can go over who's who. So, starting at the top. And the best thing you can pull is 
99 overall Kyler Murray. But before I even tell you the rest of the guys, what's cool about this week is that there's a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, oh, you're going to definitely get a 97 overall player. You're not, you're, you're definitely going to get a, a, this guy. You're definitely getting an ultimate legend. Like, this week's kind of like a chance, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like it. It's like a little, it's like a little coin flip, you know? Just, it could be, it could be 99. It could be 94. Like, you know, you don't know. I kind of like this. This is, this is different. This is cool. I like this. It might actually give me a reason to do this. Because if you get the best one, Kyler Murray's awesome, obviously. You can get Nick Bosa, Quinn and Williams, Cleveland Farrell, Devin White, Daniel Jones, Josh Allen, TJ Hawkinson, Ed Oliver, Devin Bush. So these are the top 10 right here. These are probably the guys you want. Anything above a 97 is really usable at this point. So if I had to pick one guy that I would want out of this, obviously it's Kyler Murray. I would definitely take this Kyler Murray. I'd be very happy. I would want to use him over Vic just for the time being, just to try him out. Next guy would probably be, hmm, maybe Josh Allen. I really liked him in college. Ed Oliver. Devin White's an awesome linebacker. It just wouldn't be good for me. But not, there's every card here is usable. 98 overalls. Quinton Williams, defensive tackle. I'm pretty sure they have him as defensive tackle in this game. I hope so. So I don't sound dumb here. Daniel Jones, obviously the GOAT. The best quarterbacks the Giants have ever drafted. I sure hope so. I don't know. I was watching some film earlier that I saw on Twitter, and it, it actually looks like he might have some potential. I really hope so, because if not, we're, we're set back for years. But um, his house rules is awesome, honestly. I like this one. It's eight total wins. They, they made it better rewards, in my opinion, because I don't want the guaranteed reward. I want the chance. I feel like the chance makes it fun, right? It's like, why do why do people like buying packs and opening to, instead of buying coins from a sponsor? Obviously, the sponsor is more guaranteed. But the packs are a chance. It, it, the, the packs are excitement. I think this is excitement. I think this is what's needed right now. Give people some little little excitement. Obviously, if you get the worst thing in this thing, if you get the worst thing, oh, I said thing in this thing in this thing. If you get the worst player from the draft, it's still a 95 overall, and it's a and kill Harry wide receiver in the Patriots. So he's not bad. Caleb McGarry, DeAndre Baker, there's still very usable players down here. Ooh, Marquise Brown would probably be nice. There's Josh Jacobs. He'd be cool. Who else is here? Darnell Savage, Dexter Lawrence. Eh. Hopefully it turns out alright. Dwayne Haskins. There's some cool players here. So I honestly wouldn't mind who I got here. And for eight total wins, it's like it's like the perfect storm right now for me. I truthfully think they nailed this one. I'm, if only it was more competitive, I kind of wish it was more of a competitive, like from a more competitive standpoint, I guess. But for the large majority of people still playing. They just want their rewards. They don't care about competitiveness. So eight total wins, an hour and a half, a free 95 overall player plus. And it's like it's like doing like bingo, you know, like you throw the ball, you twist in, whatever you get is what you get. I think that's really cool. Personally, I love this. I really do. Plus 40k. Plus a little chance to enjoy Madden for a bit. A chance to upgrade your team. And they even gave us the uh the legend the legend thing today. The um the Madden reward thing, the I don't remember what it's called, but I only got, I got some crap out of it, which is confusing. I mean, if, if it wasn't for that, this would have been really good today, actually. I got Isaiah Wynn, Vander Esch, and something over there, I can't say, but I don't know why I got these. I thought I was supposed to get picks. It's kind of confusing, actually, but whatever. It was worth it. Hopefully, we can get these house rules done today. Hopefully, I can try to at least. You guys should all go get it done. Highly encourage it awesome rewards this week so first off guys thank you for watching going to try to get this video out as soon as possible hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content i am taking a different approach right now as you guys can see a little bit different of an approach because with madden 19 dying i hope that madden 20 new starts coming sooner because like i really gotta like just get on the madden 20 train with madden 19 dying but i'll still be delivering the daily content getting things out that i feel are important like this talking over kind of like reporting things that happen here and there with this kind of stuff but about gameplays, I don't know how many of those I will be doing only because people could really care less about gameplays at this point. I get like, people, I could, I could just tell by YouTube, Twitter, everything, that people just don't care about gameplays anymore. So I'll get out what I can when it comes to that, but I will keep you guys informed on Madden 20. I will keep you guys informed on the rest of Madden 19, all the way to the, the, the sad, sad, sad end. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, I post these every Tuesday, obviously. I post I post one to two times a day, even times on, even sometimes three. So it's daily. You won't just subscribe to me and then, you know, dip out. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like. Get, let's get 50 likes. Make sure to comment down below if you guys like this one, if you guys like this this reward. And also comment down ideas you have for next Madden 20's house rules, what you guys hope for. Kind of want I'm trying to get ideas of what would be really cool for next year. 
Maybe EA could even implement some of the things you guys say, which would be, that'd be cool. You guys should all start tweeting at them. That's it, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video.